accept your nomination to be president of the United States of America. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News 24-7. I'm Lindsay Reiser. Vice President Kamala Harris vows to lead the country in a, quote, new way forward as she makes history, becoming the first black and South Asian woman to accept the nomination for president from a major party. Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s long shot bid for the White House could end as early as today. A look at what his potential dropping out could mean for undecided voters. And breaking news in just the last hour, the Justice Department charges a real estate software company with allowing landlords to artificially raise rents, potentially impacting millions of Americans. Later this hour, the Postal Service is making some changes to cut costs. Who will have to wait longer to get their mail and when the changes will take effect? And Fed Chairman Jerome Powell says the time has come to adjust current policy. We'll break down what this means for interest rates, Wall Street, and your everyday finances. As a prosecutor, when I had a case, I charged it not in the name of the victim, but in the name of the people. For a simple reason, in our system of justice, a harm against any one of us is a harm against all of us. Last night, Vice President Kamala Harris became the first black and South Asian woman to accept the presidential nomination for a major political party. And as the vice president took the stage, she saw a sea of female delegates wearing white and nod to women suffragists who fought and won the right to vote more than 104 years ago, rather, this month. CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Jang is in Chicago covering this convention for us. Uh, Weijia, Harris made an effort to reach out to all voters last night as part of those comments we just heard. She said Kamala Harris for the people. And yet in CBS News polling before the convention, it showed 36 percent of registered voters still don't know what she stands for. Was Harris able to effectively introduce herself last night? I think so, Lindsay, and that's because she really drawed on her personal story, for starters, talking about her upbringing, talking about the effect that her mother had on her, and uh, doing